Well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Good afternoon, how are you? Well, uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador Bayoumi, how do you see the importance of uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's meeting with the Qatari businessmen uh, and his uh, uh, speaking about investment uh, and uh, encouraging them to invest in Egypt uh, um, uh, in line with the uh, uh, national mega projects uh, that are taking place in uh, Egypt? As an investor, I would be... Uh totally satisfied if I know that all the issues and the problems are well taken care by the, the leaders and the prime minister and the ministers. So this is sort of a message to the investors that your concerns are is our concern. So it is, it's also a message to our interior bodies, to the bureaucracy. You, you have to be careful because the president himself is following what the bureaucracy is doing. And one of the obstacles of a good uh, flow of investment is the bureaucracy. It's very slow. You cannot deal with it. We, your banking system should be ameliorated much more than we are seeing now. Transport is another challenge. So many challenges and then when I know that the president is on top of all of this, this uh, uh, message of uh, satisfaction to me. So we hope that, of course, uh, uh, we shall have less and less bureaucracy, more encouragement for invest investors, and to, 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 to be sure in our deep culture that an investor is coming to make our life better to uh, offer jobs to our children, to offer us more commodities and services, to give us the, the way to export abroad. And I want to say that we shouldn't depend only on mammoth projects. We are uh, pyramid builders. That's why we think that we have to build big things. Yes. Germany it is one of the largest exporters of the world. And 80% of what Germany is exporting, we don't know the names of the, the producers because it's not Siemens or Mercedes or whatever. But they depend totally on the small and the medium-sized uh, projects and industries. Yes. We want to encourage this type of production, and I think we are on the right road now, nowadays. Yes, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, uh, also the President uh, spoke uh, with the uh, Qatari businessmen about the facilitations that Egypt is uh, providing to investors. Uh, and also, uh, for example, he mentioned uh, uh, the uh, golden license. Uh, could you give us an idea about this? Yes, it is a matter of accelerating the process of having a license to produce. Yes. Because it takes generally... Uh, uh, months and sometimes some years until you get a decision. Uh, so we are trying to accelerate the process and to make it easier and faster. This will attract, of course, more investors and this one of our tools to be much more uh, creative and much more helping the investor in order to uh, spend shorter time since he comes with money until he leaves with his profits. This must be a very short period and uh, don't, we don't waste his time. Yes, uh, the, Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, also how do you see uh, uh, the Qatari investments uh, in Egypt? Uh, uh, how would it provide uh, uh, or how would the Egyptian economy benefit uh, from uh, the investments of uh, the Qatari businessmen here in Egypt? As a matter of fact, we are open to all our partners. Yes. Starting by uh, the, the Arab brothers, especially in the Gulf, because they have surplus of money and they are seeking places where to invest. This is the good news. The bad news that Arabs are investing out of the Arab world 20 times much more than they are investing inside in their own country. Yes. Why? Because our ability to absorb new investment is limited by all the problems we are talking about.
So what are the steps are that the... Yes. We are tackling the Emirates, the Saudi, yes. the, now the, the, the Qatar and Kuwait, of course. Yes. And all of them are our main investors. The largest investment yes. in Egypt is coming from the Gulf. Yes. Sir. Then Europe, then United States. Yes. So it is very good that we are seeing the businessmen meeting of uh, the, the businessmen from Qatar to meet their counterparts here in Egypt and to see that we are keen to make them happier whenever they come to our country. Yes, uh, so uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi was just uh, uh, saying that uh, uh, Egypt is not uh, only receiving uh, investments uh, only from Qatar, uh, uh, but uh, uh, also from Saudi Arabia, from United Arab Emirates, uh, from Kuwait and several uh, other, uh, Bahrain also. Yes, yes. all the, the six Gulf countries yes. are investing in Egypt. Even Lebanon, which is uh, suffering very much nowadays, yes. we have plenty of Lebanese investing in Egypt. Yes. Now we have 600,000 of Syrians, most of them open already their small projects and they are yes. adding to our economy. Yes. So, so it's not only the Gulf states. Yes. Uh, um, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, you've just mentioned uh, one of the countries that are investing here in Egypt uh, um, uh, that you said uh, now uh, raised an example uh, by uh, Syria. Uh, the Syrians are also investing here in Egypt. So this is a, a very good uh, example of Egypt providing uh, support and providing help uh, for um, uh, invest Syrian investors uh, who are already living here uh, uh, in Egypt, uh, treating them exactly like e Egyptians. Uh, could you give us uh, your insight concerning uh, this example? I was uh, lately in Kuwait uh, attending a conference to speak to them. Yes. And during the lunch time, I asked some uh, colleagues from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, yes. why do you invest in Egypt? They say we, we, we are lucky, we invest in Egypt and uh, everywhere in the world and we gain money. But in Egypt, it has a special taste. What is the taste? That we talk the same language. We belong to the same culture. Yes. That we can come to Egypt with our families also, not by ourselves alone. And we can leave our uh, families living for some time in Egypt in some uh, furnished apartments. And we, we can leave to go to everywhere and come back while our families are in the same uh, culture and the same environment they are accustomed to live with. Yes. This is one attraction. Yeah. Second, that Egypt, of course, is the largest country in the Arab world by population, and it is open in, in uh, free trade uh, areas with the Arabs, with Africa, with Europe. A market of 2,000 million uh, consumers. This is a huge uh, attraction for an investor to come to our country. Yes. So, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, also, uh, what are the areas or the projects uh, uh, that uh, uh, you expect uh, uh, that uh, the Qatari businessmen could uh, invest in? What are the uh, places uh, here in Egypt and the projects, uh, uh, the uh, number, the large number of uh, the national mega projects uh, uh, taking place uh, here in uh, Egypt, not only in Cairo, but in all the governorates? What do we expect uh, in the coming future concerning this? challenge yes because Egyptians and Arabs in general they prefer to invest in services yes whether it is housing or tourism or transport or banking mm. by 80 percent of what Arabs are investing in each only nine percent go to uh, industry and two percent for agriculture and food uh, needs and that's why today the summit in Algeria is putting on the agenda that we should start thinking seriously yes. to produce our food. Yes. No, I, what I am saying here that we should encourage more and more uh, uh, of our investors to invest in industry and to invest in uh, agriculture and food security.
Yes, yes. Uh, so, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, after uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, meeting uh, with the uh, Qatari businessmen, uh, were there any uh, 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 signing of uh, agreements concerning uh, investment, concerning uh, uh, business, uh, uh, something on that uh, cooperation uh, in several uh, fields? Or we, we are going to expect this uh, in uh, the, this month or the coming future? What is more important than yes. any a signature of an agreement that the businessmen from Egypt, Egyptian businessmen, can meet their counterpart from Qatar or, or any other uh, uh, yes. Gulf, Gulf state. Yes. So they are the experts. They know what to do. They know which fields we need. We need to go to some areas where it was marginalized, like in Sinai, like Upper Egypt, like the west coast of Egypt. All these areas also must be covered, so it is a geographical issue. And the, the, the technical issue, which I, I mentioned, that we want to encourage them to invest in, ag in agriculture and in industry. Yes, so sir. the best formula for that is an Egyptian businessman to meet his counterpart from wherever he's coming and to show him the areas which is interesting to us, which can uh, produce much more uh, production for him, for Egypt, for the people in all these countries. Yes, uh, so Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, uh, in several events, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, stressed the importance of the private uh, sector and uh, uh, the role of the private uh, sector. So were there uh, going to be any uh, kind of uh, um, uh, signing agreements or um, uh, cooperation in the field of investment between the Egyptian uh, private sector and the Qatari uh, uh, side? This is exactly our goal. Yes. Because Egyptian are, some Egyptians are still living in the dream of the 60s and the 50s, where the government was covering everything and the government was the major producer. Now we cannot do this while we are more than 100 million inhabitants. Yes. We want to encourage private sector investors to f fill the gap where we were uh, surrounded with uh, public sector, and I am not fond of the public sector. Public sector did a good job during the 50s and 60s, and now even China and Russia, they are dismantling the public sector. So we shouldn't stick to the public sector. The private sector is the answer for all our problems. Yes. Uh so, Ambassador Bayoumi, some of the international electronic uh, companies uh, have decided to open factories here uh, in Egypt too. Uh, so, how do you uh, uh, see the importance of this uh, step? Very important because they teach us new technologies. Yes. They teach us how to produce efficiently and with less uh, cost. And, of course, the, the trademark you can sell easily your pro production if it has a trademark and i see that many of our investors as i do are doing this some of our investors are uh, bringing uh, famous trademarks from japan yes. telling the japanese that if you if you produce this uh, articles in your country you will be paying custom duties if you export to africa or the arab world or europe if you, if you produce it in Egypt, then you can enjoy the agreements between Egypt and Africa and the Arab world and, the, Arab world and uh, the association agreement with Europe. So this is a way to deal with the matter that an investor in Egypt will enjoy all these privileges according to our agreements with all our trade partners. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, what is the uh, country that you can see uh, is a role model uh, that uh, uh, Egypt should abide uh, uh, by uh, in, uh, or uh, be an example, a role model for Egypt uh, and this country have, uh, was able to attract in investment? Uh, uh, which country would you mention? I, I would uh, surprise you that I am not looking for any foreign country. That's I want you to go to my city, to Damietta, yes, yes. which we call it uh, Japan of Egypt. Yes. In Damietta, no uh, job problem. 
Yes. The, the employment rate in Tamietta is 103 percent because yes. you are, you can usually see people who are working two jobs at the same time. Yes. Yes. And uh, the, the education is another example coming from Tamietta where 100 percent of the people are educated. Yes. But if I want to apply some foreign uh, examples, let us see uh, Singapore. I was in the foreign office in the 60s where the president of Singapore, Lee Kuan Yew, asked Gamal Abdel Nasser to send some trainees from Singapore to, 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 to be trained in, in Egypt. Yes. The prime minister of Japan, when he visited Egypt a couple of years ago, he showed us in, in his presentation some pictures of the first uh, group of Japanese came to Egypt to see how the, the industry in Egypt is well developed. Yes. Or Korea now, it's another example of a very well-developed country. All these countries are, <coughs> uh, were behind us and now they are ahead of us. How they yes. did it, we have to learn and to exchange experience with them. Yes, I thank you very much. Uh, I'm really glad uh, that the role model is here inside uh, Egypt uh, and one of Egypt's governorate, uh, the, the governorate of uh, Damietta. And uh, uh, let me say that, uh, uh, Your Excellency, you were born in uh, Damietta, didn't you? Yes? So, uh, Damietta Governorate is one of the role models uh, here uh, in uh, Egypt uh, that uh, have witnessed uh, uh, an example of uh, the investment in uh, Egypt. Uh, I think very much uh, uh, His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.